Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profiter Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coding Editor version 3 REST API development. This is our part 10. Inside this video session guys, we will see about put API method to update our data. In the last videos, we had seen about get method, post method as well as delete method. Also, we had seen that how can we use about security library, means helper, form validation library, and many more settings. So, if I back to editor, now inside this student.php controller, we had defined all the request type like index underscore post. If I scroll down, index underscore put, delete, as well as index underscore get. Now inside this video, we are going to cover about index underscore put method. This method will be called when we change about the request type if I back to postman. So this method will be called when we hit our URL by using this put request type. So we will hit by using put request type when we are going to change or update any data to our database table. So let's say that if I make comment of this line. Now inside this block, we are going to receive all the data from the body parameters. So let's say data equal to something JSON decode. Now inside this, we are going to use called file get contents and inside this, let's say PHP and input. After that, let's say that we are going to pass inside our body. So if I back to our database table to check our fills, TPL underscore students go to structure now we have the columns like name email mobile and the course as well as we will pass our ID because it's a primary key so we are going to pass five fields to our body parameters so back here now let's say that firstly I am to use if else block to check that all data are coming or not so let's say if let's say it set inside this let's say data hyphen id inside this again we have name pasting it here this is for the email if i pasting it here this is for the mobile and finally we have for the codes so let's say for the course so this is what we are checking that every field is coming or not inside this else block now here let's say we have some missing fields so we have to prepare a response so response inside this and to pass an array let's say status equal to zero message something let's say all fills are needed and finally here let's rest controller and let's say http not found so if i search for that and this is so we have successfully prepared for the else block now go inside if block so if i write let's say student id equal to let's say data id and others data means student info something if i make student info and i'm going to prepare an array and inside this let's say name and it is coming inside data name email data email same for the mobile data mobile and finally for the course let's say data and course so successfully we have prepared that we are going to update all this information on the behalf of this student id so finally all these informations we have to pass inside our model so let's say that inside our model we will create a method called let's say student model let's say update 
student information this is the method we are going to create inside this and to pass let's say student ID and let's say that student info it will return either true or false on the behalf of that we have made our if else block so inside else block let's say this response inside the first parameter let's say status equal to 1 sorry it's 0 message something let's say that fail to update student data and inside this second parameter let's rest controller and here we are going to pass let's say HTTP and we have something if I pass underscore and it should be internal server error it's not not found it should be internal server error now inside if block it means that successfully we have updated all the data of that respective ID so inside that condition we have to make an array and inside this status should be 1 and message something we have that student data updated successfully and inside this second parameter it should be rest controller and http underscore ok means 200 status code so if I copy this method name back to our student model and inside here we have to define that so let's say public function method name and as we know that inside this method we are passing two parameters first parameter is all about our student ID and the next parameter is all about our informations now inside this block means inside this method now we have to write our logic so let's say that this it's DB and to put where condition first so here ID equal to this ID so inside that we have to update our information so this TV update in the first parameter we have to pass the table name TVL students and we have to update these informations so it will generate the query that update these columns when ID equal to this ID and we are going to return this value if it updates successfully then it returns the true value otherwise if any error it will return respectively false value so if we save all these changes back to our postman and if I copy this URL open a new tab pasting it here and change the request type to put so firstly go inside headers and as we know that we are going to pass our body parameters so firstly we need to change about application and JSON content type application JSON inside this body raw and here we are going to pass our parameters so let's say name and to pass let's say updated name in the second let's say for the email let's say updated underscore email.com for the mobile let's say that I am to pass something dummy value and in the course value let's say that we have updated course now in the next parameter we have to also attach the ID this ID is helpful to update our data so back to our table click on browse ignore all now inside this table we have not these rows now we want to update let's say 12th number ID so back to postman and inside this ID I am to pass 12th number value so click on send button now as we can see that we have output as student data updated successfully with 200 ok status so back to table again click on refresh ignore all now as we can see that 12th number ID is now successfully updated with 
all updated informations. So this is guys how can we work with the put request type with our update API method. All we have to know that we have to define all these logics inside index underscore put. Inside this we are receiving our data, passing to our model and updating all the informations. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.